No, I mean that that constant striving for understanding yet another lower layer of the simulation we're living in is 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 something that's actually deeply fulfilling. That I don't know if it's genetically built in, but there's something about that striving to understand that seems to be uh, well, we, deeply human. We, but it's funny. What makes a human? We we don't talk about the soul anymore, man. I, I went to Catholic school as a kid. And whether you buy into all that stuff or not, you're like, what What about the soul of a person, the spirit of a people, the spirit of a nation, anywhere, the spirit of humanity? We don't, we don't, we talk about everything like it's this quantifiable thing when maybe certain things are, maybe everything is. But then what happens if there's things that just aren't quantifiable, that, that nothing in our understanding can or will ever explain? And that doesn't mean that that should be our assumption. It's for our assumption that we can explain everything and let's get to the dang bottom, peel, 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 peel. But what if there is actually something that, like that you that we need challenge for yeah and well, we could be looking in the wrong place by going oh where is it in the genes maybe it is I, again i'm not saying we're looking in the wrong place like i wouldn't know anything i do karate but basically uh not even well um but uh yeah we do karate mediocre just ask raymond daniels or stephen thompson but uh, uh i guess the to come back though you just are you a yellow belt yeah or are you oh, man i actually have you ever see the yeah, seinfeld episode where kramer fights the kids <laughs> yeah, I did that at Raymond Daniels School under the kids, kids one in class. As in addition to the uh, the alleyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, but they finished uh, it off after. Yeah, exactly. When I was on my last legs, but uh, but yeah, I, I would just maybe. It's funny. I feel like there's something deeply missing from you know from public understanding anymore. That it's almost like the idea that we can figure everything out, which I deeply believe in. But also the possibility that there's some things that we'll never really see, and some things we'll never understand, and there's something. You, like you said, uniquely human about the human experience that even if I had the power to change, I don't want to fuck with it, man. I don't want to change that thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, uh, wouldn't it be great if we just immediately knew the outcome of everything and you just press this button, you're like, oh, that's going to, what's the point of living life then? Even yeah. if you could do it, it's, it's the, Ian. you've seen Jurassic, well, I'll leave you be, sorry, I know what I'm talking about. Ian Malcolm, Jurassic Park, Jeff Goldblum, right? Life, life uh, uh, find, finds a way. <laughs> but we were so concerned with whether or not we could we didn't stop to think whether or not we should. Yeah. Maybe. I I, th I think there's an. Ex I mean, it's a deeply human thing, but it's also a really useful thing to always kind of assume that there's this giant thing that you don't understand. So you can forever be striving to understand, because that process gives you meaning, but also keeps making you better. Like thinking that, actually, even just thinking that you can't understand everything will lead you to stop too early. <laughs> so like, uh, I, I think there's something to, whether it's the soul or whether it's like religious stuff, like assuming that there's this thing that you cannot possibly understand is a really good assumption under which to operate and under which to do this first principles kind of thinking because you can just keep digging and keep digging and keep digging, even when it seems like you're at the bottom because you don't fucking know if you're at the bottom or not. And back to your original, back to one of our, I guess, our, our other kind of tangents was that comes back to everyone's a human being. The smartest human being in the history of humanity is so hilariously weak, f like short lived and not intelligent. Speak for Maybe, yourself, bro. I understand. I didn't say, no, I'm not saying comparison to me. In comparison to me, everyone is awesome, but that's, <laughs> that's why I don't do the goat thing. But basically, uh, you know, we're, it's just for, for on a cosmic level. Can you imagine even if you were a vampire, you're like 900 years old, like how much you would seem, you would seem like a lowercase g god to people. Yeah. You'd be like, how can you, have, how could you know so much? How can you have such a long view perspective? It would be insane. So, I mean, that it seems like we're, we're talking about AI now, right? Where we're creating yeah. things that are infinitely smarter than us effectively and live all this time. And it's probably going to do what we tell it to do, right? <laughs> no, it's probably, well, I hope it keeps us around.